Hi, this is Maginone, and I wanted to talk about something today that I know some of you people are going to agree with me, and other people are going to go, well, quit complaining, everybody knows it's broke. And what it is, it, it's continuity, and these excessive, I know I keep beating the drum, but these excessive crossovers. Now, imagine this, like, obviously we as comic fans who have been reading comics for years, understand fully well that the timeline is completely wrong, it's inaccurate, and it's virtually impossible to repair for both Marvel and DC. I mean, it, it's just, it's broke. And due to the way books are scheduled, it's pretty much impossible to ever get it fixed. But look at it this way, from a new reader, okay? Let's say, for an example, you have um, Mr. Weeaboo, and Mr. Weeaboo comes walking into the comic book store, and he goes, Hey everybody, I'd like to buy some comic books because I watch these these movies on the big screen and I like them a lot. So what happens, okay? Let's say, for example, he likes Captain America. Okay, now imagine what's going to happen. He goes to the comic book shelf, right? And, you know, you're going to get some overzealous... First of all, he's going to look at the, the wall and he's going to go, I have no clue what's going on. None whatsoever. You know, you're going to see a Captain... Is that Captain America? I don't know. Is that Captain America? I don't know. You know, is this Captain America? I don't know. So, he's going to see all of this. The weeaboo is going to see all these little things. And he's going to be confused. He's going to ask for help. So, let's look at it this way. This is the timeline. Now, if a customer, a brand new customer, were to be talked into buying everything that was out by Captain America, this is what occurs. You have Captain America right here um, in the Fear Itself timeline. Now, this roughly, this issue here roughly takes place... We know it takes place after Bucky's death, but we don't know quite. It must take place probably before um, issue five, is my guess. It has to take place before five, despite the fact five came out first. And the only reason why I'm saying that this takes place before five is because Steve Rogers is looking for sin. And it would make more sense. And then keep in mind, at the end of five, he said there's no hope and we're all dead. And this one, he's angry. So it obviously has to take place before that. Now, while he, well, he's, while you have to spend a lot of time convincing the Weeaboo, you know, the Weeaboo, that this is really Captain America, and you have to explain why he's dressed like this, then he's going to see this, and he's going to say, "Well, that's Captain America." And then you, then the story guy is going to have to go, "Well, yeah, that is Captain America, but this actually takes place after the major story arcs." Because if you notice now, he's back in his original costume. And then, to make matters worse, the Weeaboo is going to look on the shelf and go, what's this Red Skull? Isn't Red Skull in the movie? Boom, that's another four issues that are going to be coming out. Oh, what's this Captain America core, or whatever it's called? Oop, there's another Captain America book. How does that fit into everything? I don't know how it fits into everything. It's just a random story that makes no sense. That doesn't matter. Oh, what's this Captain America and Bucky? That's just yet another book that's coming out that... Who knows where it all fits in continuity because the continuity line is screwed up. Now, here's where it gets really screwy. If you thought that was kind of easy to understand, it's not. Because then you go to Spider Island. So I'm reading my comic book going, la, 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 that was okay. La, 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 okay, that was okay. And I'm reading Venom. And I'm like, la, 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 oh, look at this giant monster. And he's rampaging with horrible artwork. I would be rampaging, too, if I was drawing this poorly. And, yeah, this guy looks pretty badass. And then, oh, wow, look at that. The, the monster gets out. Oh, that was unexpected. And then right before uh, Venom's about to kill it, they say, wait a second, you can't kill it because that's Captain America. Now, keep in mind, this is, this is Spider Island number one, and we don't even know that that's, that's Captain America yet because that hasn't even happened yet. So now I'm going, now I'm like going... WTF, did I miss something? Is there an issue missing in between? I don't get it. You know, so I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm like, well, I guess maybe it happened, it could have happened in, well, I know it didn't happen in Deadly Foes. Maybe it happened in Cloak and Dagger. I don't know. Because it just suddenly, this suddenly this thing happened. You know, I don't under get, I, I just don't understand why this is. Now keep in mind, now, before, before you go, well, this is all explainable, well, let's just say Mr. Customer Mr. Weeaboo goes, hey, wait a second, you know, I want to deal with um, Spider-Man, because Spider-Man was cool. Captain America's too confusing for me to figure out. What do you think is going to happen? Well, they're going to say Spider-Man's involved in a major story arc. 
let's see, let's look at our checklist to make sure you get all the issues. Bang. Not only do you, in order to get the full meaning of Spider Island, you're going to have to get Cloak and Dagger, Deadly Foes, Venom, Master of Kung Fu, Spider Girl, Herc, who has nothing to do with Spider-Man whatsoever. Um, oh wow, Spider-Man New York City, it's a one-shot, so you don't have to invest too much. Uh, then we got Black Panther, um, you know, and I'm like, why? Why is it all this necessary? Why? Now, keep in mind, what else is going on? Fallout. I thought Spider-Man, Peter Parker is no longer Spider-Man. Are you telling me this is Peter Parker, he looks like Peter Parker, but yet there, this Peter Parker here is um, half black, half Mex Mexican? I don't understand. Why is there two different Spider-Mans? This is both Marvel Comics, right? And then the, com the comic guy's going to have to go, well, that's true, but you know this is the re this is the you know main Marvel universe, and this is the uh, we can do whatever we want to it and fuck around with it universe. So in this universe, uh, Spider-Man's dead. Half the Fantastic Four are, are either dead or are evil, and um, and um, Nick Fury cries like a baby, and he looks like Samuel Jackson. So now let's just say by some miracle some miracle. This comic fan says, well, you know what? All this sounds incredibly interesting. <coughs> Especially this DC relaunch stuff. Um, now, I understand... Okay, before we go to the relaunch, let's look at uh, Fear Itself. I'm really curious to get Fear Itself. Um, can you hook me up with the issues that are in Fear Itself? And the comic guy will say, sure. He'll go through all the books and go, there's your Fear Itself titles. All of these. Have fun with that. Oh, you don't really need to read them all, but if you read them all, you get the full impact of the entire story. And then the the new the, the Weeaboo, you know, if you notice the Weeaboo here, he, he really can't carry this many comic books because his bag is kind of small. And he's going to go, oh, that that's a little bit too much. Well, okay, what do I need with this DC relaunch? And the, the comic guy is going to go, hey, you know what knows something? This is a perfect time to, um, to read DC because... You know, starting September, we're starting with everything is number one. Everything is a brand new universe. Um, everything is fresh. And the guy's going to be like, hey, that sounds like a good idea because then I don't get this convoluted history. Now, I don't have to buy all these issues. And then he's going to say, well, how does it happen? Why, why are they doing this? And then, you know, they're going to give the PR speech while, you know, sales of comics, you know, revitalize their uh, market base, digital sales, blah, blah, blah. And then the guy's going to say, well, I understand that, but, you know, what caused this to happen? You know, is it did they just say everything that you bought up until today was stupid and didn't mean anything, and we took your money? And the comic guys go, no, no, no. They have a plan. There's they assured us there's a reason that how why this happens. And the newbie, the weeaboo is going to go, hey, that sounds like a good idea. Um, if they're going to do that, I want to know how that happens. So, what what do I need to to read to buy that? Here's your flashpoint. Have fun with that.